a warm welcome to you all. Hope you'll thoroughly enjoy our program. May we remind you that for the convenience of those patrons who prefer not to smoke, seating areas on the right-hand side of this auditorium have been designated as no smoking areas. Your cooperation is appreciated. The Frisco Kid, one of the great legends of the American West, actually began at a school for rabbis in Poland. So, cowboy, I am sending you to San Francisco. We are San Francisco. By New York. The rabbi was fresh off the boat and ready to discover the joys of the world. Like earning a living. <laughs> traveling in style. making friends. Plundered and penniless, the rabbi would need a miracle to reach his destination when along came a gunfighter to guide him. Excuse me. In the morning, would you be kind enough to point out in which direction is San Francisco? Sure. Good. You got it straight? Oh, sure. Right from this tree, I head straight north five or six weeks till I come to the flat country. Mm -hmm. Then I make a left for two days, that way I avoid the Indians. Take a left, keeping the ocean on my right shoulder, and just hot-tail it right into San Francisco. And even though his new friend we just robbed the bank! was in a completely different line of work. What do you mean we? Whenever things got really tough, them off! they did their best to save each other's scalps. Can he make rain? <laughs> You should have seen the rain. He does not make rain! Of course, sometimes just like that. And if you want to talk about snow... Don't talk about snow. Whoa! The wildest legend ever to come out of the Wild West. Gene Wilder is the rabbi, and Harrison Ford is the gunfighter in The Frisco Kid. Travel forward with us, 300 years into the future, to confront the greatest mystery ever to threaten mankind. We are aboard a huge starship called the Enterprise. This is the return of Captain Kirk. An alien object of unbelievable destructive power is less than three days away from this planet. Mr. Spock. I offer my services as science officer. Dr. McCoy. Scotty. And joining them on their mission, Commander Will Decker and Navigator Ilea. I'm sorry. That you left Delta IV? Or that you didn't even say goodbye? Get us back an impulse power. Full reverse. Wormhole distortion is overloaded main power systems. The late set base are all harder. Copy 
This, then, is the epic journey of the Starship Enterprise, traveling to the outer limits of time and space to challenge a vast, living machine of destruction. The human adventure is just beginning. Star Trek, the motion picture. A Gene Roddenberry production, a Robert Wise film. Space, timeless, infinite, eternal. For countless millennia, the stars and planets traveled their silent paths in perfect harmony. It was called Orpheus, the meteor. Its power is greater than all the hydrogen bombs. Its speed is greater than any rocket ever conceived. Its force can shatter continents. Its mass can level mountain ranges. It cannot think. It cannot reason. It cannot change its course. And it's going to strike the Earth in six days. That meteor is five miles wide and it's definitely gonna hit us! It's coming apart in a million pieces! Your government, in collaboration with the best scientific brains at its disposal, developed the project to deal with this emergency. Attitude correction complete. Situation nominal. Orientatia is acontecida. Положение нормально. Anything go wrong? Once the rockets have been launched, they switch over to their own internal decision-making systems. And if these systems perform perfectly, well then, there's no problem. But if there's a malfunction, what are the odds? Your guess is as good as mine. wide. It's traveling at a speed of 30,000 miles per hour. And there is no place on Earth to hide. The time is 1893, and novelist and inventor H.G. Wells makes a startling announcement. Yes. Gentlemen, I am talking about traveling through time in a machine constructed for that very purpose. The first to use the machine, however, is Dr. John Leslie Stevenson, <laughs> better known to history as Jack the Ripper. And what was to be a voyage of discovery in an instant becomes a manhunt through time. 
from 19th century England to 20th century San Francisco. May I come in? Certainly, sir. You were literally the last person on earth I expected to see. You've given me quite a turn. I'm obliged to take you back to face the consequences of your acts. You take me back? How do you propose to do that? By force? Be reasonable, John. We don't belong here. A 19th century gentleman. Are you quite certain I'm not forcing you to do anything that you're requesting? Forcing me? And a 20th century woman. My God, Herbert, I'm practically raping you. Join forces to capture a criminal from the past at large in the modern world. But even more than they want him, he needs them. You throw me the key and I'll release the girl. On your honor, John. You have my word as a gentleman. Now, there's just one thing. I would have expected that you'd notice by now that I am not a gentleman. Say goodbye. Goodbye, Herbert. You haven't instructed him in the use of one of these machines, have you? Stevenson! HG, it's checkmate, and you've lost again. A romantic adventure, a breathless chase around the world and across a century. Time after time. Look forward to and come and enjoy the best on the big screen scene at this cinema. I'll take it. Farewell, old faithful. I've got a hundred. We nip round the bank for the rest. Ah, yeah. <laughs> it, it's six o'clock. I can use Barclay Bank. Marvellous piece of technology. I can draw up to 50 pounds whenever I like. Check my balance, order statements. Let's walk. It's a lovely day. Fresh air. Oh, nonsense. Jump in. Pity you don't use Barclay Bank. Why? You'll need a few quid to get this toad away. Barclay Bank. It means we're open, even when we're closed. And welcome to the Seven Oaks Grand Prix. Hattie Jakes versus Jackie Stewart. The loser to buy lunch for the winner in London. Jackie has an ordinary 1600cc family saloon. Tatty has an away day return. Thank you. Which, in this case, has saved her nearly half the standard fare. And with three trains into London every hour... Poor Jackie. ...she can time her journey exactly. So, not only is Jackie's a longer, more tiring trip, but on yeah. running costs, petrol and oil, the round oh, trip will cost him nearly twice the away day fare. Or, in this particular case... <laughs> a great deal more. Oh. Think again. Take a train to the sales. French man of war on the starboard bow! I see no ships. Hardy, break out the Foster Grants. Not only do Foster Grants offer you polarized lenses, but 38 great-looking frames to choose from. Foster Grants make me look a little like Errol Flynn. Polarized Foster Grants. We've got the looks as well as the lens. Photographs, ladies and gents. Memories of the Costa Buava. Impress your neighbours. Oh, hang on. That's an Olympus trip. Wait a tick. Off a mo. Stone me. You're David Bailey, aren't you? No, no, I'm sorry. I'm not Bailey. Listen, I think you want me. Look, chum. I'm talking to the engineer, not the oily rag. Nah, you can't fool me, David, old son. Don't mind if I call you David, do you? Oh, 
Psycho lens like on the Olympus OM2. Built in light meter. All you have to do is press the shutter. Even you could do that. No, I'd recognize you anywhere, David. I'm a terrific admirer of your work. Terrific pictures. Listen, I'm David Bailey. That's James Hunt. Oh, James Hunt. Who's she? The Olympus trip. So simple, anyone can use it. Back today, even bigger than before. Fashion for the 80s. Vespa style. The new line range has a model to suit everyone. Vespa mania. You just can't escape it. We're the Vespa. You got power to spare. We're the Vespa. You can choose what you wear. We're the Vespa. You can't go anywhere. Vespa. Today is still the leader in time. Vespa mania is at your dealer now. Don't miss it. Now, it's time for ice cream. Or maybe some nuts. A cool glass of orange. Why not try a hot dog? Or a sparkling ice cool Pepsi. From the sales girls and in the foyer. Now. Gentlemen, your projectionist tonight is Eric, who has a hot, thirsty job, which he does very well, and uh, unlike you, hasn't time to get himself a refreshing drink of Kia Ora. Thank you. Oh, darling, does she love me enough to... Of course I love her. Sure. But I should but a kiss, don't I? Mm. But a kiss. On sale now. There is an inexorable force in the cosmos where time and space converge. A place beyond man's vision, but not his reach. It is the most mysterious and awesome point in the universe. Where the here and now may be forever. On my ship, you ask.
it is unavoidable. Moving through space, swallowing everything in its path, radio waves, light. Are you programmed to speak? Even planets and stars. is headed straight for the black hole. What'll we do? We wait. that full details of all our West End programs appear in the weekly film guide, available free from the foyer staff. Now we present our feature film.